Governor Glasgow had no choice but to declare martial law on September 1, 1912. 5,000 miners from the north side of the river joined together with the strikers in the tent city in Holly Grove. Glasscock sent 1,200 state troopers to the area to lessen the tensions. Troopers confiscated arms and ammunition from both sides of the dispute. The troopers also went further in setting up military courts that held unfair and fast trials. Strike zones were considered to be under the jurisdiction of the militia and military courts and were established in these zones. They used military commissions to hold trials against those that they deemed to be offenders during the strike, with harsh punishments handed out. The offender's right to defense counsel was denied along with other rights. This was a clear violation of the U.S. Constitution.